okay simply supported beam with uniformly distributed load okay so first of all we draw the bmd diagram for that bending moment diagram so this one it is parabolic curve for this bending moment diagram this is it parabolic curve so maximum bending moment it will occur at the center of this beam okay so that one it is wl square by wl square by 8 wl square divided by 8 wl square divided by 8 okay wl square divided by 8 okay so maximum bending moment occur at the center so base of this parabolic it is l base it is l so slope at a we need to calculate slope at a slope at a is equal to so formula for that area of bending moment diagram divided by a area of this bending moment diagram divided by area area of bending moment diagram divided by ei okay so area of this bending moment diagram so we divide this it is in two parts from the center of this beam so this one it is half part area of this half portion okay area of this half portion so area of this half portion so base for that it will be l by 2 so this one it, this length it will be l by 2 this length it will be I will write here l by 2 okay l by 2 l by 2 so area of this bending moment diagram for parabolic curve so it will be Two third of base into head. Two third of. Two third of. Two third of. Two third of base. It is. Base. It will be. L by two. Base. It will be L by two. Base. It is L by two. Base. It is L by two. And height. It will be. W L square by eight. Eight it is. W L square. W L square. W L square divided by eight. W L square divided by eight. W L square divided by eight. Divided by e. Divided by e. Divided by EA. EA. So from this relation, this two it will be get this two it will be get cancelled. Okay. So eight three the twenty four. Total it will be get WL cube. WL cube. WL cube. WL cube divided by divided by. 24 EA. 8, 3 is 24. That's why 24 EA. Yeah. Yeah. So this one it is theta A. So now theta B it will be. So theta it will be same. So we take right portion of this area. So it will be theta B is equal to only we write here minus minus WL cube divided by WL cube divided by 24 EA. WL cube divided by L cube divided by 24 EA. Twenty-four EA. So this means slope at A and B. Slope at A and B. Okay. This one it is slope at B and this one it is slope at A. So now deflection of this beam. I will write here. Deflection. Of beam deflection of beam. So for deflection, it is formula. So right here, y max it will be at the center. So maximum deflection of the occur at the center. Formula for that ax bar, ax bar divided by ax bar divided by e a x bar divided by e a x bar divided by e a e is equal to 
So area same here also. Area of this two third of two third of base it is again base it is L by two base it is L by two base it is L by two half of this parabolic curve it is L by two base then height it is W square by eight it is W L square by eight height it is W L square by eight W L square by eight then then X bar then X bar is equal to X. So now X bar for this of parabolic. So this one it is CG it will be pi by eight. So this CG it will be just I will show here pi by eight pi by eight into L by two L by two. So just I will write pi divided by eight pi by eight. Pi by eight into L by two into L by two L by two L by two divided by E L divided by E L divided by E L so it will get Y max is equal to Calculate y max is equal to y max is equal to pi u pi u. So this one l l square it will be l cube l cube into l it will be l rest four w l rest four w l rest four divided by w l rest four divided by divided by so this one it is this two this two it will be get cancer this two this two it will be get cancer so three into eight into eight into two it will be three eighty four see here this three into eight eight three eight the twenty four twenty four into eight twenty four into eight one ninety two one ninety two into two 192 into 3, it will be 384. Write down this one, it is 384A. 384A. 384 A. Yeah. So this one, it is maximum deflection occur at the center of this beam. Okay. So this is calculated by movement area method. Okay.